What's up everybody, it's Greg Peters with the Car Passion Channel, and as you can see, the NB is back. I don't know if you guys even remember this car, but for those of you who don't know, this is my 1999 NB Miata, AKA Project Too Soon Junior, the soon-to-be victim of a stock block nitrous setup. I'll be showing you guys how to install and tune nitrous. Uh, I'll be doing it for the first time myself, so it's gonna be a learning experience for everyone, but that's for the future. The NB is gonna be getting a lot more screen time coming up, so I think it's time to just make it look a little better, and in my opinion, there's no better way and there's no easier way to make a car look absolutely sick than with a proper set of wheels and tires. So I have with me here a beautiful set of Flying Miata Kogeki wheels in 15 by nine, wrapped in Nankang NS2R tires. And I'm gonna get into a bunch of details about these wheels, these tires, how to pick your wheel size and wheel offset and all that stuff a little bit later in the video. But first, I must embark on a tradition that us car guys just can't seem to avoid. We know we're getting new tires, so there's really only one logical thing we can do before that happens. <laughs> Torsen, baby. So even though these tiny all-season tires of questionable age and origin had a fun kind of sketchiness to them and that the car would easily slide out of second gear corners with stock power, I felt it was time to give this beast some grip and a new look. So here we have a set of Flying Miata's proprietary wheel known as Kogeki. This is a flow formed wheel which means the barrel and lip are initially thicker during the manufacturing process and then that material is rolled out or formed into the final product. This process makes the barrel and lip both stronger and lighter weight than a full cast wheel, and that's important because that part of the wheel is the closest to the ground, and therefore it takes the most abuse. Lightening the barrel also makes the biggest difference in performance since it's the farthest away from the center of the rotating mass. That being said, flow formed wheels are also cheaper than fully forged wheels, so it's a great middle ground where price and performance come together. For tires, I decided to pick up a set of Nankang NS2Rs in 225 45R15. This is a pretty inexpensive 200 treadwear tire that I haven't tried out yet on any of my own cars, but Speed Academy actually ran these on their YouTuber Challenge car, and I really like them there. They're less aggressive than the Nankang AR1s on my other Miata, but this car has much less power, and this will be a significantly longer lasting tire. Now while I get these installed with a beautiful set of Flying Miata extended lug nuts, let's talk about one of the most popular topics in the Miata community, size. Uh, wheel size, that is, and wheel offset. The wheels I have here are 15 by 9 with a positive 36 millimeter offset. 36 millimeter offset is really what I consider the most neutral offset you can use on a Miata, at least with eight or nine inch wheels. Neutral meaning the easiest to fit, basically. A 15 by nine plus 36 with 225 45s, like what you see here, is the beefiest setup you can fit under unmodified NB fenders. If you have an NA, you will need minor fender work to fit these, or you could just go with the 15 by eight option, running the same size tire, and then you won't have to roll the fenders. The only other fitment related item you need to know about with the 15 by nines is that they won't fit with stock springs because the springs are so large. So you will need to be on some aftermarket suspension that uses smaller springs, or you could use wheel spacers if you're on stock springs, but keep in mind that that will affect the amount of fender work required. As far as the sunkenness or flushness of a plus 36 wheel, that's gonna depend on the height of the car and the tire width. If you're at stock height or down to about one inch lower, this is a great looking offset, especially in the nine inch width. If your car is lower 
board a lot and you want more of a flush look, then you'll want to stack somewhere between 15 and 25 millimeters worth of spacers on these, depending on what tire width you use and how much fender work you're willing to do. Now with a wheel and tire package that fills up the fender walls a lot more, it's a lot easier to see differences in ride height. And I wasn't quite happy with how high the rear was looking here, so I decided to lower it down a little bit. I still need to get the car out on flat ground to really check out the ride heights, but this will get it closer to where I want it. I've got two detailed videos about rolling fenders and how to get more aggressive fitment with your Miata. I've been through about nine or 10 different wheel setups across all my cars, so I've learned quite a bit through that. So feel free to drop me a comment down below if you have a fitment question and I'll answer it the best I can. If you want more info specifically about the Kogeki wheels, you can check them out at flyingmiata.com. They come in three different colors as well as sizes that fit NC and ND Miatas. All right, that's enough talking about specs and fitment and all that. What do you say we take the car out and abuse a few of the local freeway on ramps to check out the grip and see if we have any rubbing issues. As you can see here, even under a lot of compression, the tire clears that fender lip by at least a quarter inch, which is really all you need. After several of these tests around town, I've concluded that this thing is absolutely canyon ready. So not only does the NB have big grippy tires with excellent clearance, this set of wheels has absolutely transformed how the car looks. So there you have it, the Flying Miata Kogeki wheels. Check them out for yourself at flyingmiata.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you are ready to dive deep into this NB with me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. That was way more grip than I expected.